what's up um happy spring 2022 today is the first day of my new semester um <laughs> last semester wasn't very good for me um probably like the semester i've struggled the most and for a, a hot minute now uh so i'm definitely excited to start a new semester today it's also the new year and that also means that i wrote a bunch of goals and stuff have you guys heard this quote it's like a plan with or a goal without a plan is just delusion uh, <laughs> by the way, I cut my hair. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed. Hopefully it turned out okay. Because my the lady who usually cuts my hair is like booked for the next two months. So I had to do it myself. Nowadays, I'm back to using a dumb phone, which means that I don't really have a lot of like smart connection or smart activity. Right now, I'm using this thing. Uh, it's like a handheld Kindle, basically, that runs Android. It's from China. Um... And yeah, so basically I just have like hella audiobooks. My schedule, like, <laughs> kind of looks like a dick, but uh, on Monday I'm pretty clear and Friday I'm pretty clear. I think these are going to be the clothes that I wear for most of the semester. This backpack is like what I keep my running stuff in and it's like super old. The zipper is still Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to go on a run now and... I, I'm like a really big watch guy. If you would have asked me like two or three weeks ago uh, what I thought about Apple Watches, I would have like <laughs> told you that I didn't like them at all. But ever since I got one, like it's been really, really useful for doing things like keeping track of habits and then running. Like it allows you to run without a phone nearby because you can just play music off of it and connect to earbuds. So right now I have some basic ass streaks in this because I was just seeing how it would work with my workflow. So I just have like brushing my teeth and drinking water. But now that I know that this like works really well for me because it's really easy to just like once you do something, just press press and then you have a new streak logged. Um, I'm planning on adding like all these to my streaks in my Apple Watch and then using this and then my dumb phone and then this as what I usually carry. Um, I do just keep like an app like this old iPhone around um, it was like 50 bucks and then the watch is like uh, 200 but so far like I'm like been really really happy with the Apple watch so, as far as the pocket e-reader uh, this thing I only showed you the uh, audiobooks but it, it can like I also have a lot of books on it as well some dude here owns peacocks I just walk around my neighborhood <laughs> uh, it's pretty frosty out 30 degrees Fahrenheit but it's actually quite nice. So my earbuds are connected to the watch. And personally, I just like the built-in uh, running app, which is this green one right here. But yeah, I'm going to go on a run out. So I'll see you guys after. <sighs> okay, we're going to finish. It's still like 11. Oh, as you can see, it's like a really pretty great day outside. Okay, I, as of recently, I developed like a sweet tooth, which I've never really done before, but like... At night, I'll like crave like ice cream or something, which probably isn't good. So I'm gonna try to stop this before it becomes really bad. Um, so one trick they recommend is to eat dark chocolate, um, which I really haven't ever had. So I think I'm gonna go cop some right now while I have some time and I'm not really busy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go buy some dark chocolate. Let's see how this goes. Yo. Tim Pivo, how are you? Okay. Yeah, I don't really know anything about dark chocolate. This is like the first time I've ever had it, but like, you guys in the comments will have to give me a recommendation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Piece of crap. Ow. Can't wait to dig in. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna just try this right now, even though I haven't had lunch yet. This one is made in Poland. One of my good friends is Polish, so that's why I got this one. This one is made in Boulder, but with Belgian chocolate. I really like Belgian chocolate, and things in Boulder seem to be made pretty well. So yeah, that's why I got this one. And then, let's see. This one is... Swiss and Swiss people just make really good crap in general. So yeah, this is a pretty stacked roster. We'll see how 
how these go. Okay, let's see. We'll start off with this one's a favorite. We'll start off with this one. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm, there's an aftertaste. All right. That's fine. Right off the bat, this one doesn't have an aftertaste. I wasn't feeling the aftertaste in this one as much, so I like this one more than this one. And then, let's see. Mm, these two are very similar. Hold on. Technically, I think you're supposed to have like a palate cleanser when you do something like this, but it's whatever. Yeah, this one's the best. <laughs> I like this one the best. Taco Love XOXOX, baby. I like what you're putting out. Oh, um, so I've also been meaning to kind of talk to you guys about a few things. Um, <laughs> I guess first off, if you're wondering why I'm wearing like a mask right now, whenever I talk to the camera, um, my dermatologist, like I've always, um, I never really had acne until like, ninth grade so like my senior year of high school and um i'm 21 now and i still have acne um my dermatologist thought it, that it'd be a good idea to put me on this medication called accutane which is a pretty strong acne medication um i think it's called accutane double check yeah i'm pretty sure it's called accutane um and it's making my skin like really dry and my lips are like really um dried out as well they look really flake, flaky and like gross looking so um i'm probably not gonna like show my face for mu like very long like this close up on camera for a little bit while my skin is like pretty bad right now it's, or like my skin in general has just been like my biggest the thing that i'm most like self-conscious about as far as my body um like i'm pretty self-conscious about like how scrawny i am and my skin um so uh, I just been meaning to like address that. A lot of people don't really talk about it on YouTube and stuff. Like, um, but yeah, one of my goals for this um, this year is to implement a skincare routine. Maybe you guys can see it right there. But um, that's like one of the steps that I'm doing as far as skincare. I'm also using a cleanser that I'll do um, at night and in the morning, and then I'll just throw in a moisturizer that has SPF 50 which is um important i guess so yeah another thing that i've been meaning to talk about is like <laughs> i'm a senior in college right now which means that i'll be graduating soon with a degree in computer engineering and like <laughs> i kind of have to figure out what i <laughs> what i'm gonna do in life um which is like a really big decision for me um i'm still pretty young but yeah yeah i like i do have some like goals that I want to accomplish, but I also feel really like skyderbrained, to be honest. Mika. Um, let's see. I'm going to graduate with a degree in computer engineering, which does enable a lot of pathways for me. Um, like, that I can do is like continue to, I'm like really lucky to be in this position where I have like a YouTube audience or whatever. And if I wanted to, I could like just do YouTube full time and make videos about technology, productivity, vlogs, things like that. Um, I'm like pretty passionate about using like YouTube as a platform to create narratives that like inspire change in people. Um, so that's one pathway that I could do. Um, I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur since I was a kid. Um, I've just always been really passionate about like consumer technology and things along those lines. Um, like, I've always wanted to make my own company and my own business. So that's another path that I uh, would want to pursue. <laughs> and the last path, I know this is pretty random. path that, like, I wanted to do for, like, quite a while now is to pursue acting, which is really random. Um, and I've only talked about this, like, with my friends and stuff, but, um, yeah, I like think about it on a daily basis um i've like taken acting classes before and i'm just like really really enjoy it and 
I'm, I'm pretty nervous talking about it in front of the camera actually, but uh, I might stay in school and see if I can make something work uh, with acting. Like, I always think about like cool video ideas or like, cool story ideas that I want to do in real life and um, I don't know if I would want to like go to school, like my university to do an acting degree or if I would want to just like go to conservatory or just try to figure it out on my own or something along those lines but um, yeah <laughs> it's a lot to think about for right now um, I'm still really passionate about like computer computers and like engineering and stuff um, and there's not a lot of like crossover between acting and engineering but that's like this is something I also really enjoy doing um, so I just kind of have to figure out what what makes <laughs> what makes the most sense I think that like logically it would make the most sense to stick with like YouTube and engineering and the businessy stuff but like emotionally I really also want to do acting um, so we'll see what what happens I recently read this book called 4,000 Weeks by Oliver Berkman and it's like a book he talks about this thing where it's like you should create a top 25 list of things that you want to do and then focus on like the first five and then forget about the the other 20 um and yeah like I feel really scatterbrained right now like I just have so much crap that I want to do um that it's kind of hard to do anything because I just have so many things I'm trying to do at once um so we'll see what I decide on I guess <laughs> and I'm not complaining or anything like I'm pretty glad to be in this position um it's definitely a position of privilege where I can pick what I want and I can just do whatever I want um like, I don't really feel any pressure from my parents to, like, I don't really feel any pressure from my mom to go directly into industry or anything. Like, she's pretty open to just whatever I want to do, and she really believes in me. Um, so thanks, mom. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's been pretty cathartic actually talking about this on camera. So, thanks for listening. So another one of my goals is to eat out only once a week um, with my friends every Saturday. Uh, so I've been trying to eat like at home a lot. Um, this isn't really eating at home. I did cop some of these uh, tabaki. I don't know how you say it, tabaki. I got these yesterday. It's not really making your own food, but um, they're pretty good. I got... This is Vietnamese food. Uh, these are like little sausage things with some rice and, I don't know, fishy stuff. These are really good. Um, uh, Capri salad, so it's mozzarella, tomatoes, uh, spring mix. Um, but, yeah, I also cop some... I don't know what they're called, but they're like really good. It's from Korea. Some place in uh, Chinatown. And these are like some really good potatoes. So I'm planning for this semester trying to... I got a thing of <clears throat> brown rice. Um, I'll do the brown rice with, there's some kimchi right there, potatoes, um, rice cooker, and then a protein. So I'll probably just end up doing uh, tofu and steak. And then I'll probably do chicken later on with some of these potatoes and maybe a Capri salad. But also shout out to, uh, I don't want to show your address, but Mr. Lamb, thanks for the package, bro. I uh, appreciate it, dog. When you eat lunch, it's a pretty great opportunity to just listen to an audiobook. Uh, I try to avoid like screens and stuff while eating food because it's just really easy to idle and just surf without like real intention. Um, so I'll just go ahead and throw on um, just with my AirPod, AirPods. Um, come on, buddy. Uh, right now, I'm reading this book called. This book called The Millionaire Fastlane, it like sounds really scammy and stuff. Um, I'm only halfway through it, but it sounds really scammy and like it's trying to sell you a course, but uh, it's recommended by Ali Abdal and I've been reading it as well. And I can like, I've read a few finance books. Um, I read this one 
Uh, maybe there's another one in the stack somewhere, but right there. Yeah, Wall Street. Um, this has definitely been my favorite, like, um, book about money so far. I'll, I might talk about it more once I finish the book, but yeah, so far, like, I'm at a five out of five on uh, this guy. So I'll go ahead and throw it on and start reading this one. Yeah, I'm finally home. Uh, look at this. The, this BMW recently. Um, this is gonna be my new drift car. So, yeah, it's sitting pretty low right now on some pretty nice coilovers. They're geckos. Um, has a six speed, no a five speed. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if anyone's interested in cars, but it's a 323i uh, E46. Yeah, but pretty, the, the story about how I got that BMW is actually pretty interesting, if anyone wants to know it. I've actually been looking for a drift car for like several months now, or a while, and um, this one popped up, and it was actually this dude, his friend uh, passed away due to COVID, and he just kind of wanted to get rid of it, um, and he was looking for the right buyer and stuff, and uh, yeah, so Titus, if you're watching, I really appreciate like how cold you'll cordial you were doing like the process and stuff um yeah he was like a really cool guy and he gave me a good deal on the car so i really appreciate it man if you're watching um he doesn't know i didn't tell him i did youtube or anything but if you ever happen to stumble upon this video yeah i really appreciate it man if you're like struggling to squeeze like time to read books into your schedule um audiobooks like this are a great way to do it yes and then as far as like keeping track of books and stuff, I really like um, the Goodreads website. Uh, I try to like avoid social media in general, but uh, Goodreads is actually a really good platform for me. Uh, I really enjoy it. Um, you can like set a reading challenge and you can also look at all your friends reading challenges and you can see what they've read and stuff. Um, and you can also keep track of like what you've read and what you want to read. Uh, so yeah, I actually really like uh, Goodreads. So being back in class, like, <laughs> it kind of reminded me, like, I'm not really sure how I want to take notes um, in my CS classes right now. Like, I've tried digital notes, like, five times, and it always just doesn't work out for me. So I'm trying to just try figure out a system that will work. So if you have any, like, systems that you use, in your classes uh, i'd really appreciate it if you can just let me know in the comments your system because yeah I, I do need a lot of help with that right now oh <laughs> and another thing um i like don't have a really good system for keeping like track of to do's and stuff um before when i was like all online and stuff i used to just have three to do lists but now that i'm in person it's kind of a pain in the butt to carry around like three separate notebooks just to keep track of what you have to do. Um, so if you have any like good recommendations, I'd appreciate it. I know my friend, he uses like uh, Trello, which is like a scrum board for the internet. And he seems to like it, but I kind of tend to prefer like analog systems for those kinds of things. Um, so if you have any like good ideas, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I'm actually gonna call it that. I'm gonna call the video uh, right there. Um, I'm gonna go like just finish cooking dinner and then it's gonna do the dishes and then edit this video and go to sleep. But if you liked it, uh, I'm also like I'm open to making more of these videos. So <laughs> yeah, peace.